what is going on youtube here we go again welcome back everybody to another episode of two by two growing i hope you're all having a really awesome day all right so today we have a little bit of a mail call now i was supposed to get this package a while ago but it got lost in the mail so here we go better late than ever this is the new mars hydro smart led grow light that is for a 2x2 two two grow tent and for a vegetative stage you can use it for a 3x3. Three three. This model by Mars Hydro is called the FCE1500 and this is probably going to be the best bang for your buck to fill up a 2x2 two two. and for this a little bit bigger than a 2x2 two two, it is 27 inch by 27 inch grow tent it is absolutely amazing for this one we are in today's episode just going to be doing a bit of an unboxing and then we are going to be putting this light to the test by using my apogee mq 500 par meter and we are going to be taking some par readings from some common heights that people will be hanging their lights from so to go over what's sitting inside this box that is the LED grill light, the power cord that you're going to be connecting your LED light to. Then you got your hanging cables and then you got your daisy chain cable. You can daisy chain this light up to 30 lights. For the LED chips that are on this grill light, they are from Bridge Lux. They make some really good LED lights. They're on all the Mars Hydro FCE models. So right off the bat, this looks like a new control box that they put on this one. This has a little thing for a USB stick to stick in there. So you can control your light from anywhere you want. And another thing that's changed, they did darken up the gray that is on this light. Makes it a little bit harder for the camera to see it. But that is all good still looking pretty decent with a nice green accent there this light has a mars hydro driver and is going to be drawing 150 watts from your wall when it's turned to 100 percent and just like that with a little bit of video magic we have this light all set up and ready to go now i'm not using the hanging cables that it gave me i already have four hangers set up inside of this grow tent now I do have to give Mars Hydro some props because this light is put together really well. It's a solid build and it feels like you might be able to drop it a couple times and it would be absolutely fine. Now please don't go and test that but it does feel like it's built with some good quality. Alright I don't want to waste too much of your time so let's go do this par test. We're going to be doing them from 20 inches. That's going to be the first part test. The second part test is going to be at 16 inches. And then the last one is going to be at 12 inches. So here we go with test number one. This is at 20 inches. In the very middle of the tent, we're clocking in at about 475 par. And then when we move to the right hand side to the edge, we're getting about 390 so that is a perfect height for your vegetative stage on to the second round of the par tests and this is going to be done from the height of 16 inches so in the middle we're clocking in about 680 par and then we got about 570 to the right hand side and then the corner is about 500 and then for the very last par test we are going to be doing it from the height of 12 inches in the middle of the grow tent we are seeing a steady increase and now we are more towards the range of 930 to about 950 par which is all you pretty much need to be growing some super amazing buds 
Some plants can't even take 900, so that is more than you should be needing. Anyway, I'm going to be wrapping this episode up right about now. Stay tuned for the next one. We are going to be doing the Nutrient Showdown. Please go down there and smash that like button. Take her easy, everyone. I will see you next time.